Good morning guys! So in this video, I will be showing you an experiment about separation of salt solution by the process of evaporation. Pero bago yan, kailangan muna natin mag-asikaso para maayos natin ma-perform ang ating experiment. So, let's go! So yun guys, I'm back. So yun, nakikita nyo, nakalabgaw na ako, surgical mask and eye glasses para safe tayo makakapag-perform ng ating experiment. So, before tayo magsimula, kailangan natin ng materials which are salt, water, and glasses. Uh, Naubusan kami ng salt ngayon dito. So, kailangan kong bumili sa kanto. Then, simulan natin yung experiment pagbalik natin. Tara, samahan nyo ako. and na-prepare ko na din siya. Then ang gagamitin natin, ang gagamitin lang naman natin is itong spoon, salt, and glass of water. Then ito, itong kilohan para ma-measure natin ang grams ng salt. Then yung pan para doon natin i-heat yung what yung salt solution. So, this experiment focuses on showing you guys on how salt and water can be separated by the process of ev evaporation. To make it more interesting, our group decided to find out if there is some salt that is lost in the process. With this, we will be measuring the initial and final mass of the salt, and we will be figuring out the percent change after the process of, of evaporation. Three trials will be done to have reliable results. So our, our hypothesis is that there will be no significant difference between the initial mass and the final mass of the salt.
Thank you, Dr. CJ, for doing the experiment. As you can see on the screen, here we have the, the summary of results on the experiment. For the three trials that we have made, the initial mass and the final mass of salt as the solute did not change at all. We have recorded a 0% percent change in the three trials and so we have a 0% percent change on the average. How is that possible? Number one, the only weighing scale that is available during the experiment is a scale that is incapable of measuring precise values of mass. The values that we got are, if not exact, so close to 100 that makes the little amount of displaced salt negligible. Number two, the little amount of displaced salt that I'm talking about are the salts that were stuck on the pan after it was separated from the water. Overall, the percent change in the three trials made a reliable interpretation to address our hypothesis. Our hypothesis is that there will be no significant difference between the initial mass and the final mass of the salt. In the results, it was proven that the salt that we had dissolved in the water to make the solution was not altered after the solution was separated by the process of evaporation. So let's talk about the processes involved in the experiment. Dissolving salt in water is an example of a physical change. Here's why a chemical change produces a new chemical product. Mixing salt and water simply produces salt in water. The substance says change in form, but not in identity. Evaporation is also a physical change. Evaporation does not result in any chemical reaction, nor any breaking or making of chemical bonds. If you consider water before evaporation, it is H2O in liquid phase, diba? Then, if you then consider water after evaporation, it is H2O in gaseous phase. It is still H2O. The molecules hasn't changed. All that has changed is the physical state. One way to identify some physical changes is to ask whether the starting materials or reactants have the same chemical identity as the ending materials of, or products. If you evaporate the water from the salt water solution, you are left with the salt. So that explains why two physical changes that have occurred in the experiment did not alter the amount nor property of the salt. Thus, we have proven our hypothesis. Thank you, Dr. X, for discussing the result in discussion. So, we all know how water is important in our daily lives and how it affects our lives. So, we, we know that our human body composes of 70% of mainly water. We can also see water here in, in faucets, used for cleaning the dishes, used for cleaning the house. We can also see water here in our bathrooms, out, outside our house, such as rain. We can also see water in the presence of beaches. So wa water, is, water is, present, is present around us. Every day we see it. So our team and ACL composed of Dr. Evs, Dr. Hoven, and Dr. Elena. So what is this hydrology? This hydro hydrology deals on hydrologic cycle and different processes such as precipitation, we all that's rain, condensation from gas to liquid, evaporation from liquid to gas, infil infiltration, the process of cleaning of cleaning the water for drink up for drinking uses, overland flow, groundwater, and surface runoff generation. And that's all. Thank you for listening and have a good day.